when people are looking at their cell phones or, or listening to the news, they also have this confirmation bias. So mm -hmm. it's, it's like their mind's going out and latching on to what I already believe or what right. I already know. And so I don't want to bring anything else into my world because that's disturbing. I only want to have what's in front of me reflect what I already know or believe or agree with. And yeah. so they were all in our little silos with our and, own and, and what you just said is true. And unfortunately, even worse, they're not even aware they have that prejudice or bias. Right. right. They really think they're saying things that is, as it is or hearing it you know, as it is. Or thinking it themselves. Yeah. And, yeah. and I, I say that I think we're all we're, it's, it's not like I'm, I'm the only one that doesn't do that. <laughs> we all do mm -hmm. it. It's just but you know, you're you're talking about being aware so that we can be aware that we're doing this. That's the first key to coming yeah, out of you know, the matrix. I want to read a couple of quotes that I have from your book um, mm -hmm. that kind of reflect what you're saying. We're born into an edited re reality version of mm -hmm. the experiential world. Mm -hmm. We see things as we are taught to see them. And um, everything you perceive through your senses is like a simulation that immerses you into a virtual reality. Once you learn to identify your egoic self with the simulation, you become emotionally entrapped in it. Um, do you think we're in a simulation? Well, if you mean in a computer simulation, no. And I know there are actually some people who think we're in a I know, some people from do. some civilization of the, of the future. But fundamentally, what they're saying is wrong because it still goes back to what I say in my book. It comes from God, from source, from universal mind. So even if you're talking about some advanced civilization that has put us in a simulation, where do they come from? Yes, right, right. right. And, <laughs> and I think the they simulation- get, Where do they get their consciousness and so on? Um, right, right. And how, could they, and how can they also bend time you know, to be in our future and so on? So no, um, I mean simulation just like a dream, you know, because often when we're in a dream, we don't know we're in a dream until we wake up, good or bad. Right. And so I was in a sense, the dream also, is a simulation. Right. I think also maybe Plato's cave where, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, you're seeing the shadows on the wall. Yes. And you're thinking that's what reality is. We're right. thinking that's what reality is and the shadows on the wall. And people who don't know Plato, the story of Plato's cave, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, if I remember this right, there are, there are people st prisoners. sitting in, mm -hmm. you know, prisoners, yeah, prisoners yeah. watching mm -hmm. the shadows on the cave, but the shadows on the cave are being made by people in the background. And so, but they think that's the reality. One guy escapes, he comes out. He's like, oh my gosh, there's a reality out here. And he comes back to tell everyone and, and they, they think he's the nutcase. Yes. And that what's reality is on the, is the shadows. Right. On the so case. he said he was going to free them, but they were too afraid to, to believe him. You know, right. And this, is the, this yeah. is the real problem with awakening. I shouldn't say problem. This is the challenge. This is what's, what we're faced yes. with. When yeah. we go through our own awakening process and suddenly yeah. you're like, oh my gosh, I see reality in a completely different way. And as you say, we, I can imagine, I can co-create my reality. And it's very different and we're not trapped. And, but everyone's like, no, no, you're crazy. You know, you're, you're a nutcase and this is our problem. This is mm -hmm. the way reality is. Now, the, the process of awakening is very, very... Mm -hmm painful sometimes yeah well you know so is uh, on this level i, I use the expression different levels of, aware, of awareness and reality dimensions however you want to put it um you know birth is also traumatic both for the mother <laughs> and the baby uh, if yeah. you think about it i mean seriously it, it's a pretty hard entry for both of them right. into a, you know a new future for both right